This is a deep learning paper summary video from Henry AI Labs. This video covers word to vec word to vec is one of the most popular ideas in deep learning, and it's this fundamental idea of predicting the context of a word and using this to create a semantic space that represents words. So to motivate the idea of word to vec you have to understand uh, how you would represent words naively for like a supervised learning machine learning model. So a naive way of embedding this sentence, I am going outside, you'd have a one and then zeros everywhere else for I, you know, M would have the second index one, going would have the third index, and then outside would have the last index. Can you imagine as your vocabulary grows, you might have like, you know, in this paper, the news data set that the word to vec paper focuses on, they have 692,000 words that they're going to embed. So you imagine these vectors where you have, you know, basically 692 thousand minus one zeros and one zero and one one to represent each word it's like totally impossible to use machine learning on that kind of representation so the idea of word to vec is we're going to use this uh you know predict the context idea to convert these words to these vectors that are lower dimensional and then you know more semantic space it shows the image on the right shows you that you know you can cluster words that are similar to each other so fundamentally, this is the skip grand model, and word to vec built on the skip grand model, but skip, the skip grand model is the more foundational idea. So the idea is you take this input, which is, you know, all right, so first we'll start with the context window idea. So in the sentence, I'm going for a walk outside, you take four, and if your context window is three, you take these uh, neighboring pairs, so it would be four going and four A. So you input four, and then you, you know, use a deep learning network, and then you predict uh, the word you know, A or going. And then this projection space is what becomes the representation of the word. So remember, deep learning is like, you take an input and you pass it through a series of complex functions, and then you have some kind of output. But the complex functions, they learn some kind of semantic space, and this is useful for representing words. So the key ideas of word to vec, because word to vec isn't, this isn't where they present the skip grand model, this is where they you know, build in the skip grand model and add these interesting ideas to improve on it. So the first idea is uh, hierarchical softmax versus negative sampling. So historically, they used hierarchical softmax. And hierarchical softmax is a pretty interesting idea. What they do is, uh, if you imagine that you have 16 words to be represented, you can structure them as a binary search tree. And then, uh, you know, the height of the tree is like log two of the nodes you have. So instead of having to predict, uh, you know, 16 word probabilities, you just predict uh, four values. And this defines how you walk along the binary tree to reach the resulting end nodes. But in word to vec they say uh, you don't really have to do hierarchical sampling. Instead, so they just treat it as a binary classification problem where they, you know, they draw negative samples. They sample these negative words. And then, you know, and, and with respect to the context word as well. And they just say, you know, does this belong in the context? Yes or no. And they just repeat the negative sample in K times. And they have another study where they say, like, how many, how big K has to be depending on the size of your data set. And for small data sets, they say it has to range from 5 to 20. And then for large data sets, 2 to 5. So the next idea is, uh, you know, the distribution of words in any large word corpus follows this power law exponential distribution where it's like words like the and is they occur all the time and then words like canoe ostrich they like never occur so what they do is they uh, you know they accommodate the power law distribution with this uh, like frequency sampling technique where they you know weight the probability of the word that they're gonna go and get the context encoding for based on how frequently it occurs so then the next idea is that, uh, you know, they want to account for phrases like things like Boston Globe, the individual words, they don't make any sense, but because it's the name of like a news publication together, they make sense. But then they want to avoid, you know, if you just count like frequently occurring words and then tokenize that, you're going to end up tokenizing things like and, uh, or like this is. So what they do is they only uh, choose phrases that occur frequently together. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe for more deep learning paper summary videos.